Yeah, good morning, guys, and uh, Manhattan to our friends in the Philippines. Uh, guys, the other day we did a video. Um, it was regarding Boss Hog looking at uh, different vehicles. And we just touched on it, really. Uh, in this video today, uh, we're going to go into a little bit more detail. Um, it is all leading somewhere, so do bear with us. Um, we're going to try and get into the uh, mind of the brain surgeon and uh, see what is motivating what motivates this man to want a new vehicle uh, but first of all take a look at this screenshot yeah guys in this screenshot um, this is the Toyota uh, Hiace uh, that Brian was uh, slavering slobbering all over fantasizing about having a nice new uh, minibus a mobile e-begging van this is the van that he wanted to uh, take the seats out the back a play area and a sleeping area for Marcel and Charlie so like I said we've gone into a little bit more detail I just want you to uh, have a look at these two quotations we've got here uh, the selling price guys uh, one million one hundred thousand pesos um it equates to about uh twenty two twenty three thousand dollars there's two different quotations uh, there's a fifty uh, percent deposit that's half of the total um you'd be financing the other half over sixty months uh monthly payment of well not kicking the ass off. 15,000 pesos over 60 months. But notice on the bottom, very interesting that. Interest rate of 59%. That is absolutely astronomical. And these quotations are from a dealer in the Philippines. The quotation on the right, guys, uh, is at a 20% deposit, the same price, uh, selling at uh, 1,100,000 pesos. Down payment, 220,000 pesos. Uh, as Bossog got 220,000 pesos. Has he got 550,000 pesos for his deposit? We don't know. Uh, he'd be financing the other half, um, again, over 60 months. And the monthly payment on that is, let's call it 23,000 pesos over 60 months. And again, look at the astronomical interest rate, 59%. That's the Toy uh, Toyota house that uh, Bossog was looking at. Uh, just thought you might be interested to see what kind of mindset Bossog is in uh, and what motivates him to actually want to go out on a limb for this minibus. Take a look at this next screenshot. Yeah, guys, in this screenshot, we have the Ford Raptor. Lub Lub, she loves the Raptor. And uh, as you can see, over 2 million pesos. So we're getting to the upper reaches of uh, just over 40, just over $40,000. Um, two quotations again, one at 50% uh, 50 uh, 50 deposit, the other at 20%. So a down payment would be a million uh, pesos and you'd finance it for just over a million pesos. Uh, the monthly payment, bottom line monthly payment, with a 50% deposit uh, would be 27,000 pesos over 60 months. Notice at the bottom the interest rate. Again, astronomical, 59%. Uh, the quotation on the far side, guys, with a 20% uh, deposit, uh, that would be about 400,000 uh, pesos down payment. You'd be financing 
1.6 million pesos worth of uh, finance over 60 months. Again, 59% uh, interest rate and a whopping 43,000 pesos per month to fork out. Guys, we're just giving you the information and trying to work out what it is that's motivating boss out to even think about going for one of these vehicles. Take a look at this next screenshot. Yeah, guys, uh, in this uh, screenshot, we have the Ford uh, Territory and um, we've got two quotations yet again, one at 20% uh, deposit, one at 50% deposit. Um, this one sells at around uh, 1 million, uh, call it 1 million three, 300,000 uh, pesos. <coughs> Down payment at 20% is 255,000 pesos. Um, amount financed will be uh, just over a million uh, pesos, over 60 months, and the monthly payment, again, 27,000 pesos. And note, very important, note at the bottom, 59% interest rate, astronomical. Now, in that far right hand corner, uh, if Bossog has that deposit of 50%, uh, that this same vehicle here, um, if he's got 600,000 pesos lying around, he can finance it for 600,000 pesos over 60 months and the cost would be 16,000 pesos. Call it 17,000 pesos a month. And again, look at the astronomical interest rate. So there you are, guys. We've given you three quotations, giving you a bit of information. And uh, I think if you look at the quotations, uh, I don't think Bossog's going to be able to uh, afford any of these vehicles. But having said that, what motivates him? What motivates Bossog to want to um, own a vehicle such as this? And that's something that we are going to get into. Yeah, guys, so after seeing uh, all those quotations on the vehicles that Bossog uh, was drooling over uh, in a recent video, after seeing all those uh, quotations, and bear in mind, those quotations were all over 60 months, five years. Will Bossog be still around in five years? Well, that remains to be seen, but... In a recent live stream, he did say, he did say, I'm going to Taliban for my YouTube salary. Very proudly said that. Uh, because he does work, he works his camera. Uh, but he's going to Taliban for his YouTube salary. And while he's there, he's going to be speaking to the bank. Do you think it's possible that Bossog is going to the bank and he's going to consider asking for a loan. That's what sprung to mind with me. And then you've got to ask yourself, why? Why would he go out on a limb to go into so much debt to get this vehicle, to get a vehicle? Well, I think what motivates Boss Hog and Maricel is that green-eyed monster. Yep. When his uh, fat friend Rizzuto, the pedo, rolled up in his new motor car, his new vehicle, Maricel was all over it. The green-eyed monster. That green-eyed monster came out. And then you've also got to talk about Tintin and his Raptor. 
he must look at Tintin and think, why can't I have one of those? Why is Tintin driving around in a raptor? And I, I've got to get one. The green eyed monster keeping up with the Georges. Yes, I think the green eyed monster is getting the better of these two, Boss Og and Maricel. And also take into account how he was jealous of Eleonora's success across the road. She can grow vegetables and the Bohovel clan, they can't grow a thing. They can grow fungi and mould and they can breed rats, but they can't grow any vegetables at the Bohovel farm. And that's why he resents Eleonora and has so much hatred against her. Yeah, guys, so if Boss Dog is going to Taliban to the bank for a loan, then just consider this. Here he is, Boss Dog. He's uh, walking into the bank for a loan and he can't even afford a doctor without someone sending him a donation. He can't even afford to buy a bed unless it's on monthly payments. He can't even afford to feed the fish. He had to borrow from Gina uh, before the typhoon. He had to borrow money off Gina before the typhoon to feed the fish. Uh, another thing to consider, he can't even afford to fix all the bearings on the white van. And if he's almost complaining every month when the lecky bill comes in, he always complained about the 10k lecky bill, then how can he afford the monthly payments on a vehicle that is a minimum of 14k per month? What planet did this boss of just arrive from that he thinks he can meet those payments? Guys, just take a look at this uh, next screenshot. Yeah, guys, so as we said earlier, Boss Og uh, has toddled down to the bank in Bali uh, Taliban to uh, maybe inquire about a loan. Well, we could have saved him a journey because uh, I've got some information for you here. If you look on the right-hand side, uh, Social Blade. Social Blade is an estimate, but it gives you an average of what a person is earning. And Boss Og's monthly income from a YouTube is between 40 and maximum 647 pounds. Now convert that to pesos and the figure is just short of 18,000 pesos. Now then, if we look at the left hand side, the bank, the PDO bank, their car loans, uh, the vehicle price in the range of um, 1.4 million pesos. And there is a few down payments you can make, guys, 20%, uh, 30%, and 40%. But we're going to uh, take particular attention to the 40% uh, down payment, okay? Now then, if you look down the chart, right, it will tell you there that even with a 40% down payment on a 1.4 million peso car, you would require to have 50,000 pesos income per month going into the bank. So in order to get a bank loan uh, for a vehicle, Boss Og needs 50,000 pesos going into the bank each month to even be considered for a loan. Could have saved you the journey, Brian. YouTube earnings, maximum 18,000 a month. I think you'd have about 30,000 pesos per month short. 
Or are you telling us the truth? Uh, guys, when I say, is he telling us the truth? Um, since the uh, onslaught of the typhoon, maybe there has been an onslaught of donations flooding in to his PayPal, into his bank. Maybe Boss Og and Maricel have got a tiny little sum stashed away in the bank. Maybe not. I'm not privy to his bank balance. But guys, either way, this man and his wife, Maricel, are dreamers. There they are. They are sitting in a tool shed, live streaming. It's where they sleep, it's where they live. They have a shower curtain hanging up at the back of the wall. They have no roof on the bohovel. And yet, they are considering going out and buying a brand new vehicle. The green eyed monster and the pair of them has took hold of them and they want that vehicle. That is their dream. They want that vehicle. They have seen Rizzuto and Tintin and they are thinking, we want the same. Guys, till the next time, please like, comment, share and subscribe. I hope we've enlightened you and to the mindset of these two green-eyed monsters. Bye for now.